Well, Merry Christmas. I'm at Plaza Blanca. I'm getting ready to go in. Here's the main sign. Yeah, I, I usually do, about every other year I'll do this hike, but I think I've done it last year too. Um, normally there's not too many people here. Right now there's, I think only two. And two just other two others just left. So I've never walked down this little trail. This is for the people that don't go in. They'll just go here and look and say, ooh. Ooh ah. The non hikers. So I'm gonna go way back in there again. It's a little windy right now, so bear with me. I'm going this way. That looks not too good today, so I'm going to take the easy way. Now, there are multiple ways to hike this. Um, you can go back in there and go way back. Um, you can cut through there, go through there. There's two or three loops the other way. I'll try to do them all. You can just walk the wars, you know, when you drop down here to the main attraction right there, um, and then hang a left, and just walk that wars. Um, and that takes you into a cool canyon. I think they filmed some movies back in there. Well, they filmed movies all over in here. But anyway, so, uh, I think the last time I came, I, I tried to go up on top of that. I could have done it, but it was looking a little sketchy. And I, I wanted to do more than just that. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, uh, it's a little on chilly side today. I think it was 19, 30 degrees when I left home. In the wind, it's cold. So here's the, I don't know, kind of melted wax. I'm not quite sure how to explain this. I've seen it so many times, you would think I would come up with something. But yeah, I just kind of see it as rock formations that have melting wax over it. So I'm up, up a little high, there's the main attraction over there. I call it the main attraction. Because whenever you post any kind of rock formation that looks like it, they automatically think it's Plaza Blanca. Um, and there is more than one formation that looks like that on this road. Um, there's another place that I'm going to explore someday. I just haven't quite decided where to park yet. Um, you just never know what's safe nowadays. Like, no place is safe. <laughs> Well, that's behind the gate, so only people that had the code to the gate can get in, driving in. You can get in multiple ways, you just got nowhere to go. Okay, so I'm going to head down here in the, in the wash. Well, maybe not the wash, I'm going to stay on this upper side. I'm going to try to stay out of the wind for one. Well, I'm back in here where the wind's not so bad. It was kind of chilly for a minute there. I put my hoodie on. That's how chilly it was. Still kind of cold on the bare hands. You know, last week I got a, a floater in my eye, which I think was a cobweb, because I was moving a ladder. And now it's breaking down into, well, I can still kind of see it. Put a bunch of little, little floaters. Interesting light show as you're walking. Okay, I'm going back in here. And now we're going to hook in and go on the other side of this. In theory. Later. I'm back. Okay, yeah, back in here. It kind of looks like well trails end, but it's really not. Um, just go back here. A little further, and then it hooks to the right. But standing way, way back there, you know, eight to a mile or so, it does look like the end. It's 
it's a oh, excuse me a bit of a rock scramble but um well not this kind of scramble bigger than that back in here let's see back there it kind of looks like a dead end right it's not might be able to go that way too i'll be back okay it's starting to look a lot like christmas Okay, so that kind of looks like the trail ends. Well, it's not really a trail. But no, it keeps going. You know, you just got to go for it. And you will see footprints. A handful. Um, well, I'm not the only one that comes back here. This is more interesting than doing the normal normal way it's quiet and it's all yours you know there's nobody else hopefully okay I'm going back that way yeah well that wind can be cold okay so I'm kind of walking this little rocky wash you gotta watch some of these rocks because they are they can be slick or can be and will be called black ice. <clears throat> so not really a trail. You just keep walking this and eventually it opens up. And that's where you gotta make the decision whether you turn around, go up, or go down. Probably go down because I've already went up. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Here's thin today. Okay, that's all you get. Well, I'm still going. Um, man, it's uh, one of those hot, cold days. So I come up all that, and I think once I get around that rock formation, shouldn't be quite so rocky. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Anyway, this is what you got to do. Just don't trip. Falling down on rocks really suck. So here, go up here. You can decide whether to go up that or go to the right and hook around that tree. I'm going to go to the right. Okay, I'll be back. Here comes the wind. Still here, see? I'm here. I'm alive. I'm still going. It's a fairly long rock scramble. I mean, it's not straight up or anything. It's just you're walking on rocks. My breathing sucks today. Or should I say it doesn't suck enough. <laughs> well, I am. Exerting myself a little bit here. Oh, I am 70. Look at that. How's that for a view? So I came up from way down there. So well, I've come up a couple hundred feet at least, if not more. You can't see pen or no from here. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, yeah. Okay, this is what I call the, the dead end. Um, that takes you up to nowhere. Um, up there, you can go up there, and actually, on top of there, there's a trail. And the trail either goes to the right or goes to the left. I went right, and uh, eventually dropped into a, a kind of a red canyon back in there. And then found out I had to go up. So I went up and made my way back to the entrance way that way. It turned into a really long hike. Now today, today, I'm thinking about dropping down in here. I'm gonna have to go down there and actually check it out to see if I can drop down all the way because then that takes me 
back around all this that I just came on and then it'll put me right back in the wash in theory so I'll be back okay I'm down to a spot and now we make a decision I think I can go down right here just gotta watch how I go down because I will go down if I don't watch it six eight foot drop down now as long as there there's something to hold on to or rocks to step down on then i'll be down into that canyon or not <laughs> i won't know until i get there now worst comes to worst i have to come back up okay down we go wish me luck okay that was a little bit of a butt slide i should have went down that vein but i came down that there kind of steep kind of rocky now Sorry, I'm gonna fix my other camera. I'm packing two cameras. One for video, one for pictures. Oh, I just noticed my lens was way out. Okay, so here's the part, the unknown, is can I actually get down here? Um, I'm gonna put you down <laughs> so I can see. It looks a little far down. Okay, that way was a definite no, about a seven foot drop off. And that's not for this one, man. So what I'm going to do is hop in this vein here. And it looks to me like it goes right on down. Now whether I can get out down there, it's another story. So what I'm going to do is go over to there, right in there, and walk that later. Okay, this is still... At least four foot maybe five foot but I think I can do this one so I've got hand holds here I'll just lower myself down as long as I don't screw up an angle so I've come down that lane now let's give it a whirl we'll see what happens if you don't hear back from me well I'll be laying here okay I made it and didn't die so what I did is I put one hand here one hand there and um, lowered myself down to a certain point and then I had to jump so there's my stick so, my stick is about 4'11", maybe, maybe a little bigger. Okay, so now i got to go down this. And then we're going to find out if we can get out of this. <laughs> if not, well, I'm trapped. Okay, happy trails. Okay, I think my way out's that way, but first I want to go into the light. Um, I want to see what my options are in case I need one. Sorry about the wind. This is kind of cool. Box Canyon. Okay, I think I can probably get out this way if I have to. Yeah, buddy. Ain't this cool? Okay, I'm going to go the other way real quick. I like this way too. Look at this. This is badass. Love the Badlands. Well, this looks very interesting. But whether it's a way out, I don't know. Might have another big drop. Well, noisy down here. But it is a big drop. That's not huge. Oh, there's ledges. Okay. I'm going to do this. As I can see, I need to go that way, as long as this comes out somewhere. I think I know where it comes out at. I think this is a spot I always wanted to go up, but I thought it was too high. So, there you go. Hang on. Well, that was a wet one. So I had to get on that ledge and then put my boot, boot down and my boot down and slide on down. Okay. Oh. Back of my pants are all wet. Okay, I gotta turn my other camera on. Now, if this gets worse, I'm really screwed. Um, so let's just hope. You know, I'm taking some big chances here. But that's what I do.
Okay, I got ice, so I gotta put you down. Well, that was a little tight there, um, but I made it. So I got my butt down to there and went. But now, again, what to expect, I have no idea. Uh, that's a major drop. What you doing? Look, there's a dog. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Okay, that drop off was way too far. Maybe 15 feet. You know, when I was looking at maybe I could do this ledge down there. But when I seen the dog, and then I met a lady. And so I'm coming up to the high side here. Because just to get to this part was quite a workout. You know, I made uh, well half a dozen drops that were over my head. Very cool. Okay, I'm going up here. I'll be back, hopefully. Hey, yeah. Okay, I'm back. So I, I came back from way back in there. Um, it was pretty sketchy, but I did it. So I'm gonna follow this lady and her dog. She said I could drop down in this canyon, but I'm tired of sliding on my butt. So I think I'll try to stay upright because there is a trail that you can see right here. So here we go, rock and roll. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Okay, I just made a, a huge circle again. Not as big as my last one. But this one is a little more challenging. This first drop off. Now I can't even show you. I end up going way back in there. It hooked way around and dropped down. Anyway, it's starting to get hot. New Mexico weather. Later. In the wash. Hey, put whiskey in my water and sugar in my tea. What's all these quite crazy questions you're asking me? Mama told me not to come. But Wendy. Make them all the way back. All right. so, Christmas is over. So I don't know if Bodie's is open today. But if they are, I must stop. So I'll take the back roads to there. Before I go home, maybe I won't have to make dinner. I can buy it. They're probably closed, so it is Christmas. Oh, yeah, happy trails. Okay, I'm leaving Plaza Blanca. Okay, for those of you who don't know, this place is gated in two places. Um, if you don't have a code, you're not getting in. It's open to the public, but you've got to get a code. So um, you have to go online, find their website, and then find their email address. And then tell them you want the code, and then they'll, they'll send you the code. And it's not going to happen like within 15 minutes, you know, it could happen in a day or two. They're usually pretty pretty prompt about what they do but um so there you go happy trails